Welcome back. So today let's try to solve this uh, daily question. The level of this question is not medium, so I would say this is medium plus plus. Yeah? So this is not an obvious question uh, to solve by first attempt. So that's why you need to know not a couple of things, many things. Yeah? So let's start to solve. PQ is a perpendicular bisector. So the first thing that is coming to the picture so this is called perpendicular bisector so if you don't know what is perpendicular bisector and how to use them you won't be able to solve this question uh, so perpendicular bisector this is uh, when you have let's say some uh, let's say some line yeah? or some side a b yeah? let's say and if in the problem, it says perpendicular bisector. It means that uh, we have some line yeah, which is perpendicular to this AB. Yeah? And also, let's call it CD. Yeah? This is perpendicular and it will split it in half, so like a median. So if I uh, label it with O, so AO is equal to OB. So this is called perpendicular bisector. So if it is, it means that this QP, this is perpendicular bisector of AD, it means that AP is equal to PD. So this is the first observation that you need to, uh, you, you need to apply. AB is perpendicular to BC, this is obvious, and DC is perpendicular to BC. Perfect. If AB is 9, so this is 9, yeah? and BC is 8, so this side is 8, and DC is 7, we need to find the area of the quadrilateral APQB. So APQB quadrilateral, this is this, uh, let's say, quadrilateral shaded with green. And in order to find the area of this rectangle uh, or quadrilateral what we need to do if i let's say connect uh, if i connect these two points aq i see two right triangles eh? so this is let's say something kind of s1 this is s2 so my answer should be s1 plus s2 eh? So if I know S1 and S2, I will sum them and it would be my answer. How to find S1? So since S1, this is the area of the uh, right triangle ABQ. And we know how to find the area. Yeah? This is AB times BQ over 2. So by luck, we know... AB, which is 9, but we don't know BQ, yeah, over 2. So it means that if I can find BQ, I would be able to find S1. So how to find BQ? BQ, okay, let's label it, uh, let's say, with uh, X. Yeah? This one would be 8 minus X. And let's say that if I have... So yeah, uh, regarding the perpendicular bisector, so this... Picture, guys, shows me that perpendicular bisector, this is the kind of the thing that will happen in isocells triangle. Так, isocells тигене, isocells титм бізде бұл, получается, тинг бюрлі үшпұрыш, тинг бюрлі үшпұрыш. Тинг бюрлі үшпұрыш. So, this, is, this happens in isocells triangle, so it means that DA is equal to DB. Similarly, if I connect DQ, it means that my AQ and DQ, they would be same. So that's why let's write two Pythagorean theorem and uh, equate them and try to solve for, let's say, for some value that we don't know. So let's think that, so uh, let's consider, let's consider... Let's consider uh, triangle ABQ. Yeah? So for triangle ABQ, we see that AB square plus BQ square is equal to AQ square. Yeah? So in fact, AB is 9, so 81. BQ is X, X square. AQ, we don't know. Yeah? Okay, cool. Then on the other hand, let's consider triangle uh, P. 
Uh, okay, sorry. P D Q. Uh, oh no, no, sorry, sorry. Not P D Q. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, D Q C. So in this triangle, D C square plus Q C square is equal to Q P square. In fact, D C is seven, so forty nine plus Q C is eight minus X square and is equal to Q. D square, yeah. So here, this is QD, not QP. Sorry, yeah. QD square. Cool. So we told that AQ is equal to QD. That's why we can equate this both sides. Yeah? So solving 81 plus x square plus x square is equal to 49 plus. 8 minus x square. So this is simple algebra to solve. Uh, let me, let's say, subtract and open the bracket. It would be x square and x square would, would be cancel each other. But I forgot something here. Yeah? This is not 8x square. This is x square. So it would be just, uh, it would be just uh, 81 minus 49. This is 20... Uh, 32 yeah so 32 plus x square is equal to 64 minus 16 x plus x square or this is just x square and x square will cancel each other it would be minus 16 x is equal to minus 32 it means that x is 2 so now we know x it means that my bq is 2 and qc is 6 cool i know bq so I will substitute. So I will substitute it here, and my first, uh, my first area is just nine. Cool. So because nine times two over two, this is nine. Then I need to find what is the value of S two, since I know uh, that AP is equal to PD. If I can find PD, uh, AD, I can easily find uh, AP. And okay, let's think. Okay, I need to draw some extra, uh, let's say, drawings. Yeah? And what I can do, I can draw perpendicular, which is parallel to the BC. Yeah? So this is the step. So this is if I draw some perpendicular. And okay, let me remove this one. Yeah? And if this is, let's say, DF, yeah? DF. We see that since F, D, B, C, this is rectangle, rectangle, it means that F, B is 7 and A, F is 2. If A, F is 2, I know F, D, which is 8. I can easily find by Pythagorean theorem what is the value of A, D. Yeah? So let me find it here, yeah? okay, so not, uh, to not spend... A lot of time on, on uh, writing uh, in the other side. So, AD squared, this is equal to just AF squared plus FD squared. So, AF, which is 2, 2 squared is 4, plus 64, which is 68. So, AD, since this is the length, it cannot be negative. This is positive. So, 2 square root of 17. Cool. So, I know what is AD. Yeah? So, AD is two, 2 square root of 17. That's why AP is square root of 17. And if I want to find this PQ, uh, let, let me try to find this PQ. Yeah? So, PQ can be found. So, uh, can be found by this triangle. So, let me find PQ. How can I find? I need to find PQ using uh, use triangle APQ. So, PQ, this is just uh, square root of AQ square plus uh, or minus just 17, yeah, because or AP square. Okay, let me change the color. Uh, okay, this is the same color. Uh, AQ square, I don't know AQ, but AQ is obvious. Eh? So here, AQ was just 81 plus X square. Yeah? So this is square root of 81 plus X. X was 
x was 2 it means 4 so 85 cool square root of 85 so aq is 85 then pq is just uh okay aq was uh, 85 minus ap is uh, 17 so 85 minus 17 this is 68 square root of 68 this is 2 square root of 17 cool now i know what is the value of pq so the final answer s2 this is the area of the triangle apq yeah a p q this is equal to a p times p q over 2 so a p is square root of 17 p q is 2 square root of 17 over 2 2 and 2 would be cancel each other it would be 17 so my final answer is just s1 plus s2 yeah so answer okay let me change to the black so answer is just s1 plus s2 which is the area of apqb yeah? apqb this is equal to 17 plus 9 or 26 so this is our answer so as we see this is not okay this is not medium plus plus this is medium plus 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 yeah oh okay so i hope that it was clear and you benefit something new okay guys see you later